Boise State graduate Taylor Lance is stepping into the spotlight in a big way. Will she be the first to bring Idaho the crown? And the Boise State Broncos mark their first game with a W. Stay with us for a look at the game from the best seats in the house. These stories and more coming up on your Boise State Newsline for the week of September 6, 2017. for joining me on this week's edition of Newsline. I'm Brittany Locke. We begin today with an update on the tragedy of one of our own. Local news station KTVB reports the man charged with killing Boise State student Sierra Bush, also known as Simon Bush, pled guilty to the charge of first degree murder on Tuesday. It was last September that Bush disappeared. Then, at the end of October, Bush's body was found near Idaho City. Bruce Marchant was arrested and charged with the crime a few months later. Bush was 18 years old at the time of the disappearance. In a statement after Sierra's death was confirmed, President Bob Kustra said, quote, Sierra Bush, known to many on campus as Simon, was an active and involved engineering on in Honors College student who left an indelible mark on many students and faculty and staff. Marchant now faces the possibility of life in prison. Sentencing is set for December 6th. Fires in the surrounding area are sending pillars of smoke to the sky and students are seeing the effects and many are feeling them. Newsline weather reporter Brad Stallone takes a closer look. Thanks Britt. For the upcoming week the highs are going to range from high 90s to the high 80s while the lows are going to go from the high 60s to the low 50s. The Pacific North Northwest air quality is, has been labeled incredibly poor and the fires been upcoming, have been popping up due to a dry summer. As of September 6, the Ada County air quality is classified as very unhealthy according to the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality. IdahoFireInfo.com states an estimated 26,000 acres of Idaho have recently burned and sent smoke all over the state. Almost all of the land burned came from the Hanover Fire, which is still growing in size in northern Idaho. Kai Hilton, a local sawyer for the Wildland Firefighter Crew for the state of Idaho, stated, It's been brutal out here. It feels like it never stops. He then continued to say, Also, I think I did you say, also heard that every single Idaho wildland crew has been called in and we are actually pretty short men, end quote. From all of us here at Boise State Newsline, we thank the men and women fighting those fires and hope they stay safe out there. So while those fires are burning, be cautious while exercising outside Boise State and let's hope for some sky clarity very soon. I'm Brad Sloan, your weatherman with your weather plan. Back to you. Thank you, Brad. Boise State officials urge students experiencing symptoms like chest pain and extreme fatigue to contact University Health Services. As of Wednesday, classes are expected to continue through the week as usual. Now a look at Boise State's new campus menu. Burritos, sushi, and coffee. Students have tons of new options to satisfy those mid-study marathon cravings. There is now a Starbucks in the sub and it's reported to be the biggest in the state. Also in the sub, you'll find, find fresh food at Mai Tai's, including a sushi bar. Now, if these options aren't making your mouth water, try the food truck on the other side of campus. Food trucks, rather. Depending on the day, you'll find food trucks serving pizza, burgers, Dutch bros, and more. And it's just right next to the Science and Education Building. The food trucks are expected to be available through mid-November. Another lunch option is called Retail on the Quad. Three days a week, you can stop by for $2 value menus. That's a good deal. See, and you'll see foods like Chick-fil-A and Panda Express. For dinner, try Patio Cafe. Fill your plate with a themed buffet while enjoying some music just outside the sub. For more food times and to see availability, check out the schedule on Boise State's website. Well, Boise State graduate Taylor Lance is taking the stage this week for the Miss America Preliminary Competition. Taylor earned the Miss Idaho crown over the summer and has been preparing for her time to shine ever since. She will compete against contestants representing 50 states and the District of Columbia in four areas of competition throughout the week. The areas of competition are interview, lifestyle and fitness, talent, and evening gown. The final night of competition where the new Miss America is crowned airs on Sunday night on ABC. From all of us here at Newsline, good luck, Taylor. 
Now we end tonight still coming down off the high of our Bronco victory on the blue. Our first game ended with a win after strong plays from a fresh face against Troy University. Joining me with a perspective that only a lucky few get, Brennan Serrano. Thanks, Brittany. Marking that fall is finally here, the Boise State football team grinded out a 24-13 victory Saturday afternoon over Troy University. The defense and special teams was the story of the afternoon as Avery Williams, a former walk-on who earned a scholarship this past fall, had to block the harsh sun just in order to receive a first quarter punt that he took 81 yards for a touchdown. Williams finished the afternoon with 172 return yards. As for the offense, Brett Rippon started the game, but after numerous shaky possessions and an interception, Coach Harson decided it was time for graduate transfer Montel Kozar, who finished the game under center. Harson said after the game, we've got two guys who can play quarterback. As we move forward, how we utilize them both in our game plan will be like everybody else, wide receivers and running backs included. There are going to be opportunities for guys to get involved in our offense. The Broncos travel to Pullman, Washington to take on Washington State. Kickoff is 8.30 Saturday on ESPN. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of Newsline. I'm Brittany Locke. And I'm Brendan Serrano. Have a good week, guys.